Hi, my name is Ken Aronson. I grew up in a small town of Akita, one hour south east of Denver. I have a lovely partner, Katie, and a five month old daughter, Dakota. I have farmed in Canterbury, the west coast, Tararua, and now the Wairapa. What do your urban friends think about dairy farming? Most of them see the value of dairy and think it is a great industry to be in. There's a few that disagree. So I think it's important that we look after the environment and also make sure our farm looks good to people driving past or coming for a visit. Part of my management practice is to ensure we have quiet, content stock as well as a tidy, well-kept farm. How can we ensure the ongoing success of the New Zealand dairy industry? Along with environmental sustainability, we need to maintain profitability. Pasture is our cheapest form of feed. We have a proactive pasture management approach and an aggressive regrossing policy. We make sure we utilise it well. What do you enjoy most about dairy farming? The working it outdoors and with stock. The, the tractor driving is a big part. I love more machinery. What kind of people do you work with as a dairy farmer? I have one worker underneath me. I work alongside the share milker and I have daily contact with our farm owner and industry professionals. How do you get the best out of the staff that you work with? With quality training and knowing what makes them tick and having a good quality and friendly relationship with them. You've worked alongside and helped train some um, students that come on farm for work experience. What is the point in taking the time out of your day to do that? To increase the knowledge of the young people who have come through here and to train them and hopefully secure them for work if needed and helping them progress through the industry and reach their goals. I grew up on a rough sheep and beef farm. As kids we spent most of our time working, mustering, fencing and scrap cutting. When we did get time for play, we spent it hunting, earling and building huts. Apart from building huts, I still enjoy hunting and earling in my spare time. I understand you've recently purchased some land. Yes, 350 hectares in Akatia. And what kind of land is it? Class 5 and 6 and a bit of 7 land covered in heavy county. So it's very difficult country. Yeah, yeah very very steep and dry. So what do you what do you hope to use this land for? Rearing uh, initially rearing beef steers and once we get a bit of ground developed, hopefully getting into dairy heifers and raising a, a herd. What are your short and medium term goals? I will move into farm manager role next year. I plan to progress to a contract milker or lower order share milking job in the medium term to increase my business skills and increase equity. This will give us the, the opportunity to run our own block as a runoff. Do you have any long term goals? We have goals in the next 10 to 15 years to build a, a large uh, Heard for 50-50 share milking and then to buy a rundown dairy farm to develop into a profitable and economic business. Tell me about your family. Well baby Dakota is five months old. Uh, we had her in December just before Christmas. So, uh, it was a good Christmas present. Um, me and Katie have been together for uh, coming on two years now. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty fast and pretty hectic over the last six months. Mm -hmm. um, um, what's Katie's background? Katie's from a dairy farming family. I'm just worried about how the light will affect the quality of our milk.